Hi, this is CK at CK Education. And today I want to answer a question um, that some students have asked in past years. I, I, I always get this and people say, well, my friend got into this college and so I could get into that college too, right? I mean, they had this GPA, my GPA is a little bit better. They had this SAT score and they got in and mine's a little bit better. So I'm sure I could get into that college, right? And, you know, I get this question a lot. And my answer is not necessarily. It's not as simple as that. It's not SAT and GPA alone. Although SAT and GPA uh, are very important, uh, even for test optional schools, I think that, and I've said this to many students um, recently, but a lot of schools, because of the pandemic, they're test optional. And I think that absolutely is good uh, for lower income students because the test in itself is kind of expensive to take for some people, you know, and so, and some families. And, and so if they don't uh, have to take the test and they can still apply to colleges, I think that removes a barrier for them. So I think that's very good actually in it. Um, but for, you know, you know middle to um, upper middle class uh, families, um, the reality is that if the vast majority of your um, graduating class has taken or is taking the SAT and you don't, I really think that is a disadvantage to you. And so I think it's, it's uh, to your advantage because uh, you're, you're compared to um, the, your graduating class from your school, you know. And so I think that is important that, you know, in very competitive areas like, like Maryland, Virginia, D.C., Massachusetts, New York, um, Seattle, um, and places like this and, and some other, a few other places. And of course, even within the state, there are certain counties that are much more competitive. And I think in those highly competitive places, um, everybody's taken the SAT. And so it's probably uh, a disadvantage if you do not. Now, if you take the SAT, you just bomb it and your score is so bad that, that you know, you'd be embarrassed to talk about it. It's probably better just not to submit it. True. Okay. But I think that if you could do well, it's better to do well and submit a really good score. Okay. So anyway, uh, but SAT is not just, you know, the SAT, GPA, those are two very important factors in college admissions, but it's not the only things. Okay. Your ethnicity has a lot to do with it. Your gender has a lot to do with it. Your income has a lot to do with it. What you, what major you want to go into has a lot to do with it. Are you the first one in your family to go to college? Have you, your parents didn't go to college. That has a lot to do with it. Your income has a lot to do with it. You know, there, there's so many factors that go into this. Your college essay um, has to do with it. Your extracurriculars are all in play. And in the past, uh, SAT subject test, they also looked at uh, how many AP classes you took. They looked at all that kind of stuff. The SAT subject tests are out now, and they're not looking at that anymore. But there are still plenty of factors that they, that they, uh, that they um, consider, take into consideration. I couldn't think of <laughs> Sometimes I go blank with these easy words. But um, th there are plenty of factors that they still consider in, uh, you know, in their application reviews. And so it's not just uh, a straight up, well, I got a better GPA and a better SAT score than my friend and my friend got in. So I'm sure I could get in. It's not that simple. It very well may, may be that that school in that major that your friend was um, applying to, uh, maybe it was male dominated, but your friend is a female um, and there's not a lot of females who apply to that. You're a male and uh, there are plenty of males. They don't need more males. They actually want more females in there because they want a diverse class. And so, you know, it could very well be that she got in and she had a better chance because she was a girl and you're a boy. And so that, you know, it could be like that. It could be a lot of things. OK, so don't just think necessarily that because your SAT and your GPA was better or whatever, that you're automatically going to get in. I've also seen like over here in Maryland, like University of Maryland, um, I've seen kids get way better SAT scores get rejected and kids with pretty terrible SAT scores get accepted because of where they went to school, what county they went to school and, and on and on. And so, you know, colleges are looking for a diverse freshman class and they're not necessarily, especially public schools, are not necessarily looking to take just all the top kids. Okay, so... Um, just keep that in mind. It is a much more uh, complicated and, and, um, and sort of a convoluted, if you will, process uh, of col you know, the col this college admissions thing uh, than just a couple of scores or your GPA. So just wanted to explain that to you. I hope that's clear. 
I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, and until my next video, I hope you stay well.